back at it for the morning slide. So, next topic. Do services constitute as payment in a relationship if your man is unemployed? Like, really sit down and think about that for a second. Like, if your man is unemployed, but yet he cook dinner, you come home and your dinner is cooked, your house clean, your grass cut, he fix your car up, he's a superstar. He's a superstar in regards to all of that other shit, but he just ain't got no job. Does all of that shit constitute as payment in a relationship? I mean, does that add up after a while to some type of value? Because, you know, I've seen this meme on Facebook and they was like trying to make it seem like that, that shit has more value than a man coming in with a paycheck. right now for me i'm gonna I'm say a big ass no no like nigga that's your job especially if you live with me you're going to get the fucking grass cut you're going to you're going to go out there cut. i'm not doing it like what the fuck you mean what you mean now hopefully i mean i love a nigga that can cook hopefully we can get in the kitchen and that could be our thing together we can bond over cooking and that could be a mutual thing but in regards to if a man being unemployed is okay because he's doing, he's fixing your car and shit, nah, that shit ain't fucking okay. That shit ain't fucking cool. That shit ain't cool, and I'm going to tell you why. Because I am a woman of a particular age. I've been through some shit, and I've definitely done some dumb ass shit. I have definitely been the victim of devil dick before. That shit is, 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 um... Makes you be resentful towards the man when you getting up every day, you going to work, busting your ass. Getting up every morning, you struggling to get your ass out of the bed, and this nigga just looking in the bed, looking so extra comfortable, like he ain't got a care in the world. No problems. And you gotta go to work dealing with fucking dumbass customers or clients and fucking irritating ass coworkers and shit just to get that little bit of fucking money. And this nigga just sitting in the house, maxing and relaxing and cooling off of your hard work? No, that shit ain't gonna work for me, cousin. That shit ain't never the fuck gonna work for me. I don't give a fuck how good your dick is. I don't give a fuck how good your shrimp and grit. I might take that back. So if a nigga know how to make some bomb ass shrimp and grits, that might, that's some life changing goddamn shit right there. Nigga, you make me some good ass shrimp and grits and give me some good dick now. We might can talk, but only a little bit. Only this little bit. Cause nigga, you need to be bringing in. Stop lying, nah. You fuck about your shrimp and grits, nigga. I don't even give a fuck about how good your dick is. I'm sorry. I'm not that young and dumb no more. I got mortgage. Like I ain't got time to be playing around with you, motherfucker. If you don't want to work, you need to go back to your mammy house. And why is it that when you finally wake up and you take off them rose colored glasses, my nigga, and you realize uh, the dick ain't that good, let me get him the fuck out of here because this nigga running up my light bill. Because nigga, you running up electricity, nigga, I be at work. Like, why, my, why is my gas in my water bill like this, nigga? Because you, you just be liking to take extra long baths and shit. Then what the fuck, nigga, you be in here soaking and fucking Muslim breast milk and shit? Like, what the fuck? Your skin all extra smooth and shit? Like, why? What the fuck? You ain't here exfoliating, nigga? You got time to be exfoliating, my nigga? How people vote when you look at the action. You putting extra. Oh, man. Oh, man. The, the thing that, that bothered me the most is a nigga ain't got no job or got a car. Fuck, you got a car for, my nigga. Where is you going? You ain't got no goals and aspirations in your life at all. Why you? What you got a car for? Where you going? Nowhere. Like shit in life. What the fuck you mean? And then they got to be out there putting the extra armor oil on the fucking tires. Ain't that what that shit called? Oh, that shit is super fucking irritating. Like, nigga, how the fuck do you ain't got no job but have the audacity to have hobbies? Fuck you mean. Fuck you mean. Out here, motherfucker. I, my you car, I gotta that, take care of my car. Um, nigga, character matters. And I know a lot of people say, man, this was 30. Niggas like that need to ask me. I know a bitch that character got a nigga when it that don't help her with shit, but this nigga got the audacity a lifetime position to be like in a major decision. Buy collectible shoes, like. Um, so pay attention collector to tennis shoes what so you mean to tell me when you get money uh, the leaders doing whatever the fuck it is you, you, you okay, buy sneakers sneakers 
can't be unemployed with fucking hobbies. Where the fuck do you have time to have a hobby, nigga? Your hobby need to be finding a motherfucking job to help me pay some of these bills in here, bitch. Fuck you mean? Like, what the fuck is wrong with y'all nigga? Oh, I'm a rapper. Nigga, you got a full studio time? Queen Marsha, TK Kravitz, and some special guests. Get your tickets right now. Y'all gonna make me angry this morning. Y'all gonna make me angry this morning. Why I be doing this to myself? No! Nigga, services does not constitute to payment in a relationship. No, no, nigga. Go get a job. Go help that woman. What the fuck is wrong with you? I've never in my life seen such bitch assness. And I don't know why that shit is just running very rampant in the Washington, D.C.'s of the America. Women and free fitness training or membership start at only $10 a month. Join in club or online. Y'all niggas dick is not that good. I can assure you. Because I'm a dick and dash type of bitch. I get the dick and dash. Okay, because I like cash. Okay? For the rest of the summer and on into trapping season. You know, with trapping season, it's cover season. All in the trapping season. Okay? When y'all, when y'all, when y'all, y'all see these fucking vulture ass niggas, they vultures. Damn, they vultures. Okay? When you see these motherfucking niggas, get the dick and dash. Okay? NASCAR. Dry, slip and slide, fucking Tesla slide, and ride and dick and dash, bitch. Dick and dash towards some cage, okay? I don't even give a fuck if a nigga. I look. I don't give a fuck if a nigga work at a grocery store, work at McDonald's. Look at the nigga guy. He, at least he trying to do something for himself. That's way better than a nigga ain't got nothing. At least a nigga at fucking McDonald's, he can take you out to the date to the movies or something. Or well, something. It's all about how you handle yourself. Only balance. thing a nigga with no job can do, he can just give you some dick. Or if you're the first in your family to go to college, that's it. Fucking cut your grass. That's it. Or my ladies don't get caught up in trapping season. Go to Strayer.edu. Cause that's why it's called trapping. Certified to operate by chef. <laughs> Y'all don't get caught up in trapping season, okay? Get the dick and dash, okay? Get the dick and dash, okay? Go towards the cash. Go towards abundance and light. You see the light? Do you see the sun? You see it over there? Is it shining, bitch? Is it shining? Okay? Is it shining like it's golden, Jill Scott? Jill Scott, is it shining like it's golden, bitch? Get the dick and dash. When you find them niggas ain't got no cash, okay? That's all they good for some dick. Some dick. Probably a foot massage. Just it. Go forth towards the life, Jill Scott. Go forth towards the light. Shine like it's golden, Jill Scott. Shine like it's golden. Y'all be good.